Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, you're going to follow me as I take a trip out to visit a cow that is in some real need of first aid. We're going to see what we can do for that cow and we're going to take a closer look at amputations for cows. If you're new to the channel, my name is Graham Parker and this is The Hoof GP. On this channel, I look after cow's feet, I teach you guys how you can look after cow's feet and I show you my daily escapades. You get to see the world through my eyes, a professional hoof trimmer. So I'm just in from our dinner after a long day's work and a friend slash customer's phone to say he's got a heifer who has had an accident and really, really hurt one of her feet. So we're gonna head down to his farm, use his crush and hopefully do a bit of first aid for this poor heifer and get her walking a bit more comfortably and hopefully get her back on the road to recovery. So let's see what lies ahead. A knight in shining armor And I'm sure as hell not a savior when you Just a 10 minute drive and one packet of toffee M&Ms and that's us at the farm. Oh, that'd be fine, won't you boy? You just stay back there though, okay? is the most likes I've ever gotten a video and I'd love to see how many likes this can get just by you guys clicking that little thumb gently. Go on. Yep, that's it. Cheers guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Oh well, that was short and sweet, which is perfect for this time of night. As you saw, she just about took her foot off actually. It wouldn't have taken that much more to get it completely off. So we put two blocks on that'll lift her foot completely off the ground, the sore one that is. So she should be pain free, well not pain free, but in a lot less pain than she was. And we bandaged it up. That is partly to help clotting, partly to keep it cleaner, because she's going in a sawdust bed anyway. So she'll be in a nice clean pen, but that'll just ensure that no dust and dirt and debris gets into it. And the hope is that it seals up, but she'd actually cut the tendon, so she will not gain full mobility again on that actual claw. But she will be far more comfortable than she was before we arrived. The guys are gonna keep an eye on it and if it starts to blow up or swell or inflame at all, then they're gonna get in touch with the vet and maybe they'll go down the route of amputation, but hopefully not. What we're aiming for is that the skin and the flesh rebinds itself together so it seals up and forms sound flesh. Obviously the claw will lose mobility because that tendon's been severed, but hopefully she can continue on using the foot just as she was before with slightly less mobility. So the whole point of this video is that I'm not a vet. I'm here to do what I can do to make cows more comfortable in my capacity as a professional hoof trimmer. As it turned out, that cow actually did need to get that claw amputated by the vet around a week and a half later. But as you also saw from the video, she was walking fairly comfortably because of those two blocks. So from my point of view, job done. It's as much as I can do. In the case of this next cow, it's actually the first time I've ever seen her. I don't know what happened to her claw, but I do know it's been amputated by the local vet around a year ago. So maybe she injured it. Maybe there was something really, really badly wrong, like a bad white line abscess or something like that. Like I say, I don't know. But what I do know is, I can treat this cow as best I can to make sure that she is as comfortable as she possibly can be on that one remaining toe. And that is my job here today, to show you guys how I would do it if I were you. Okay, so this cow has actually had a very severe problem in this claw here at some point, and the vet has taken it upon themselves 
to amputate the claw. Now it may look severe, but that probably saved this cow's life. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and trim this claw to make sure she doesn't go lame on this claw, because if she did, it really would be the end of her life, unfortunately. So we flatten this claw right down to make sure that the surface is completely level so she's using as much of the weight bearing surface as possible. Now we're going to go ahead and remove all of this loose horn that's cracking and there's clearly some overburdening here as in there's too much pressure here which is causing that bruise which would make her go lame. So we're just going to remove this part of the horn so that all of our weight is on the outside claw and she won't go lame. So she's actually banged herself here on the way into the crush further down the race. That's why there's a little bit of blood there, but it shouldn't come to anything. Obviously there's no horn there protecting that part of the foot, so it is really, really susceptible to injury, which is why we need to make sure this horn is as good as possible. So anyway, that was a quick outing for me. Hopefully it was a quick outing for you guys and you enjoyed the video. Thanks again. See ya. I can climb no mountains for you, my love.